Good morning, Sagittarius. This reading is for you. This will be your December 15th through the 31st reading. And now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any further uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that may clarify your situation. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Renee, and welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Okay, Sagittarius, let's jump into this. We have prayer and wisdom. I feel like you're going to be using a lot of your wisdom um, in the next couple days because I feel like you're going to be going through challenges, Sagittarius, and I don't feel like they're really tough challenges that you can't overcome, but I think that your challenges can be conquered by prayer, meditating and asking your spirits, your guides, your higher source for knowledge on how to resolve them. You have sacred reverence. So I feel like you are, you have the ability to love. I also feel like this is a time for you to take care of your body and your soul. And you can do that with meditation, with cleansing, Take a cleansing bubble bath. Drop some Epsom salt in the water. And then just cleanse your mind and your spirit of any anxiety. <clears throat> okay, what else do we have for Sagittarius? We have transformation and change. Yeah, I feel like you are going through some changes right now. And you also have affirmation for positive change. So I feel like whatever this is, whatever changes that you're making, Sagittarius, I feel like they're going to be positive. They're going to have a positive impact on your mind, body, and soul. Because for some reason, I'm feeling the Trinity. The Trinity is your mind, body, and soul, and of course, the higher power. But the Trinity within yourself is your mind, body, and your soul. What else do we have for Sagittarius? We have wisdom. Look at this. We have wisdom a second time. We have wisdom here as well. So, yeah, you have wisdom a second time. So, Spirit is asking you to be wise about your situation. Use your inner knowledge. Use your intuition to guide you through any challenges or obstacles that you face this month. The Moose. Let your head and your mind reach to the stars. Yet, keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Exactly. <clears throat> and you also have guardians, so I feel like you're protected, Sagittarius. You have the black bear. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Thank you, Spirit. Now let's get an angel card. Let's see what the angels have to say to Sagittarius. December 15th through the 31st. Let's see what the angels have for Sagittarius. We have Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping 
teaching and parenting children. Yes, Sagittarius, you may be a parent. You may be a grandparent who's taking care of your grandchildren. You may be a daycare worker. You may work with children. You may be a teacher. Um, but yet this message is for you. At the bottom, what you don't see is Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. I was feeling that conflict, those challenges that may come across you this month. Like I said, I don't feel they're very heavy obstacles or challenges. Um, but I do feel there, there will be some that you have to hurdle this month. And I feel like you have all of the knowledge and the capability of doing so and resolving them quickly without even worrying about the situation. But spirit, uh, spirit is letting you know to take caution and look deeper into the situation before, before you proceed. Okay, let's see what tarot we have for Sagittarius. What's in the tarot cards for Sagittarius for December 15th through the 31st? We have the judgment. Yes. So, yeah, I feel like you're definitely going through changes, Sagittarius. I feel like whatever it is that you're going through, I feel like you're having faith that it's all going to work out for your highest good. I feel like you are, you're doing the work. You're putting in the time. You're going the measure. You have the two of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like what you're what you're yearning for at this time is balance. And it may also be that you're spreading yourself a little thin, um, Sagittarius. You may be spending more than you have coming in. Um, so make sure to watch your spending. Make sure that everything balances out. You may have a few choices that you need to make in order to um, get what you need done. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. So, I feel like, you know, something is coming through that you may have wished for. Something is, you're manifesting something, Sagittarius. And I feel like if you haven't seen any fruits from those labors, I feel like you will. I feel like you will. But something is coming through to bring you happiness and contentment. Something is going to be a little bit more fruitful than you thought. That's how I'm feeling. <clears throat> okay, with this sacred reverence, we have the Seven of Swords. <sighs> yeah, Sagittarius. So I feel like with the Seven of Swords... Be careful for people talking behind your back. Um, I feel like someone wants to take something from you. That may be the conflict or the obstacle that you have to go through. Um, but I feel like someone, someone wants something that you've got. And you're not sure if you should give it to him. Of course, yes, you have the tower. So, yeah, you're whatever this person wants, you're not going to give it to him. You're going to tell them no. You're going to give them a definite no for your answer. Okay, what else do we have for Sagittarius? We have the seven of wands. Okay, so when this person comes in to ask you for something and you tell them no, this person is going to get defensive. They're going to get highly defensive. It may turn into some kind of verbal lash out. I feel, I feel like they're going to be like a little two-year-old throwing a tantrum that you're saying no. 
Wow. Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune under transformation and change. So definitely, the Wheel of Fortune is a very good card for change. The wheel is moving and you're moving along with the wheel. Are you moving on the outside of the wheel or are you moving on the inside? The inside of the wheel is more destined for the positive change. So you want to make sure to be on the inside of the wheel. Make sure that you're aligned with spirit. Make sure that you're um, focused in your mind, body, and soul. But I do feel like great change is coming into your life. You have the Hierophant. So yeah, I feel like you are gaining your spirituality. I feel like you're coming close to source. You're gaining more knowledge. Like I said, you could also be a teacher. You could also be some kind of person that works with children, that works with young adults. And you also have the Six of Swords. So once the situation resolves, you're going to move into calmer waters. I feel like you'll be able to realign yourself after this situation. But I feel like you're moving into a calmer space for yourself. There may be some time after meditation as well. But yeah, I feel like you're doing that. Okay, under this Moose Wisdom, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So another card of change. This is an, a new beginning of some sort. This may be a new job you're pursuing. This may be a new income. Maybe you have a side hustle that you're doing on the side. But this is going to be more money coming in for you. <clears throat> This also may be you gaining your health. The pinnacles can also do with family. So it, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, I see that you're gaining more harmony in your family. I'm really focused on this ferret or weasel right here. And I really feel like, you know, there's someone in your family that's causing trouble. There's someone in your family who is causing commotion. And I feel like you're kind of pushing that person aside. You're, people aren't, are no longer listening to what they've got to say. They're just like, okay, you said what you said, now go home. But I feel like there's more harmony in your family after this person leaves. Okay, you have the moon. So yes, with this moon energy, I feel like these have to do with the changes that you're making as well. This has to do with do with some sort of beginning i feel like before the beginning appears there's some sort of <clears throat> unseen problem that you didn't expect there's some kind of issue that needs to still be resolved there's some kind of secret that comes out eight of swords okay yeah, I feel like, okay, yeah, you also have two of swords at the bottom. So there's some, there's a choice that you need to make. I feel like you're being blocked in. You're being crowded out of something. I feel like because of this obstacle with the moon, some kind of secret being revealed that you're feeling caged up. You feel like you need to make a choice. You have no you you feel like you have no choice in the matter. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Very interesting. Okay. 
What else do we have for Sagittarius? We have, well, we'll keep it in the reverse. Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the High Priestess. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so what I think, and you also have the Devil. So I feel like, I feel like because of the situation, you feel a blockage. You're being blocked by something. There's, there's someone who is coming through that is making you feel less than. They're causing you to have doubts. They're causing you not to trust yourself, not to trust your intuition, not to trust which way you're going. And I feel like this person is all in your head. I feel like they've they've gotten to you in a way that it has you very insecure, very doubtful. But I feel like that's the reason why spirit wants you to use your wisdom. Okay. It makes sense. Use your wisdom and prayer that it, because this person is making you feel like you're lacking the wisdom, like you're not very smart, like you're not trusting yourself in this situation. They've got so deeply within your head that you really are having a hard time focusing on what it is you need to do or how to get back in alignment with your with your spirit with your with your body and soul that's the reason why spirit wants you to focus on your body and soul so that you'll be prepared for the situation so that this situation will not touch you as deeply as it seems to be touching you here Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I need you to stay strong, Sagittarius. We need the strength card here because with this devil card, I really feel like you're being blocked. I feel like you are, you're kind of being, I can't think of the word I want to say right now. My mind is just kind of in jumbles so i feel like you are this situation really confuses you i feel like you're being bombarded by several different people it may be family members who are doing this to you or it may be someone that you care about someone that you care about their advice or the way they look at you because it has you in total doubt about the situation Okay, I need some more clarity about this. What is this that's going to keep them lacking? Okay, this is someone that, that you care about very deeply. This may be someone that you're dating. This may be... This may be someone that you're married to. But this is someone that you truly care about. And you care about what they think about you. That's the reason why it's touching you so deeply. But I do feel like it's going to subside. It's going to all be resolved. But you have to come out as... healed in the situation that's the reason why spirit wants you to to know that you have transformation and change you have spirits protection that's what this sacred reference is this is spirit letting you know that you have their protection you have angelic protection surrounded around you and I feel like that's exactly what you need right now. I feel like you need to know that your angels are guiding you. Your angels are supporting you. They are following you in whatever situation that you're going through. They're supporting you. 
Okay, let's get an outcome for Sagittarius. Let's get an outcome. What's an outcome for Sagittarius, please? Let's get an outcome. Can I have some outcome cards for Sagittarius for December 15th through the 31st? Some outcome cards, please. And none of these cards want to shuffle. They just want to all stay here. Here we go. Okay. Okay, a lot of cards came out. Let's see what we've got. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Eight of Swords again. So I feel like in the outcome of the situation, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel wounded. You're gonna feel like you are really being looked at, like someone's really judging you. And you're gonna feel a heavy burden, but I feel like you want to walk away from the situation. I feel like you want to just get away from that situation um because you have the seven of wands but i feel like the seven of wands is coming in reversed so i feel like you know this situation it's leaving you very defenseless you're not holding up your defenses you're feeling defensive in the in the um situation but you do have power and i feel like you're going to feel the support that spirit is giving you i feel like you're going to feel a, a rush of exhilaration you're going to feel like <clears throat> an instantaneous healing because that's what spirit wants for you. They want you to be healed in this situation. I feel like you're going to feel a spark that lets you know that whatever these people say, whatever they do, it, it can't hurt me. It can't touch me. It can't scathe me. Definitely. <clears throat> I feel like you... As much as you want to surrender to whatever it is that they're doing, I feel like you're going to hold tight. You are going to overcome the situation. Um, I feel like you are going to be very sad and kind of emotional about the situation. But I feel like you're going to have healing. You're having healing for the situation. <clears throat> and like I said, I do feel like you have protection. You have protection from your angels. The people that have left you behind on this earth are still following you. They're still protecting you. They still have your back. And they want you to know that, Sagittarius. They definitely want you to know that. Okay, let's get some cards to see what it is that Sagittarius will be manifesting during December 15th through the 31st. Okay, first quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation yeah, don't go into a situation blindly. Don't be surprised by something someone says to you. <clears throat> Last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Speak your peace. Speak your peace. Stand up for yourself. And then... Full moon in Pisces. And then once you stand up for yourself, forgive. Exactly, Sagittarius. Exactly. What else does Sagittarius need to know? 
last quarter moon in Taurus, be proud of yourself. No matter what, Sag, be proud of your accomplishments. Be proud of who you are. Stand firm. Hold tight. Your angels have your back. Be proud of yourself. And what you don't see on the bottom, full moon, a uh, new moon in Libra, know you are loved. Yes. I love that. Okay, let's get some moonology cards. What does Sagittarius need to know for December 15th through the 31st? What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? Okay. Yes, I can I can definitely feel that. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Definitely. Okay, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Yeah, you may receive some kind of download, some kinds of visions of the situation, some ways to resolve them. Take time to breathe out, disseminating, disseminating moon. Okay. And yes, definitely Sagittarius, have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon and what you don't see on the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, spirit. Thank you for your messages. They're so on point. Sagittarius, it's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. Definitely. And um, make sure to align yourself, Sag. Stay aligned. Stay aligned with spirit. Stay aligned with your angels, with your higher power. Whatever it is that you believe in, but stay aligned with your source of support. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. Definitely. So... The universe wants you to have a fun in this situation. Don't let things bring you down. I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, and always know that, Sagittarius. I surrender to a power greater than me. Definitely. What you don't see on the bottom... I choose to learn through love. Yeah, no matter what, love. Make sure to forgive whoever hurts you and love them anyway. But just because you forgive them and you love them doesn't mean that you need to let negative people or energies in your space. Sometimes we have to love people from a distance because that's just for our greater good. That's just to help us stay in balance. Okay, what can Sagittarius do to overcome any obstacles or challenges that they face this month? What can Sagittarius do? Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah, be at peace. As soon as you feel negativity, release that back where it came from. Return to sender. Any negative energy, return to sender. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah. You're gaining wisdom by any challenge or obstacle that you go through. Gain your wisdom, Sagittarius. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You can only respect, you can only accept 
responsibility for your actions. You do not have to accept or be responsible for someone else's actions, but that still doesn't give you cause to blame. I hope that makes sense to you. And humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yes. Find humor in your situation and you won't go wrong. I promise you. Okay, Sag, what you don't see on the bottom. Failure. I understand that a mistake, excuse me, I understand that a mis mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Exactly. Okay, Sag. That is what I have for you. I hope this helps you through your journey. And if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. There may be another message that helps you through your journey a little bit more than this one. Um, and Sagittarius, align, heal, be fruitful, and many blessings to you. Love and light.